Welcome everyone, well arrived, today is Friday. We are on our weekend of the second week of season two and patch 10.1. We now have gotten kind of enough time to take a look at the raid as well as take a look at both of the weeks of Mythic Plus, both the tyrannical one and the fortified ones and the fortified one. So now we have some conclusions about how things have been going at the start of this season, in particular with the question of how has Blizzard changed things? How has the balancing of Blizzard by the end of season one into season two changed, for example, the power of certain specs? Or are we in a more of the same situation as what we saw in season one? Obviously, as we start with the simpler of the roles, that's the tank. The tank is like that because the difference between season one and season two isn't actually what you would expect, right? In season one, we saw the buffs and the rework of Red Paladin, which also benefited Prot Paladin in a few of the changes to their talent trees and more importantly, the general talent trees of Paladin. Paladin started growing more and more. And even by the end of season one, we sort of knew that Prot Paladin was sort of the choice to go for season two. Then there was the question mark, the question mark of the hefty round of nerfs given to Prot Paladin. So some players started going in full panic mode, wondering if their flavor of the month reroll was going to get gutted by Blizzard right before the release of the, of the new season. Turns out, not really. Turns out the nerf to Prot Paladin has not really changed the power of the spec compared to the rest. What I said, it, what I said, the tanks have gotten a more surprising change is because it's not that Prot Paladin, the one that was nerfed, has actually gotten weaker or been overtaken by other tanks. What changed is Prot Warrior instead. Prot Warrior was the number one tank in season one, right before the rise of, of Prot Paladin. Then what happened is that with the reset of season two, now we see Prot Warrior as one of the least played tanks, only beating at the moment Guardian Druid. Now there has been a growth, a significant growth, almost twice as many players are currently playing Brewmaster and twice as many players are currently playing Vengeance Demon Hunter, as well as a good increase, 50% more players playing DK. Blood Death Knight. So actually we can say that going from one season to the next, the clear loser is Protection Warrior because they lost the most. The loser is Guardian Druid because even though it was buffed, even though it received quite some decent changes, it's still not nearly as good as the rest. The one who didn't change much is Prot Paladin because it's still chilling at number one. And then the ones who got a good change were Death Knight, now being the second most popular tank. And then the ones who did get a pretty good change, making them way more popular compared to season one, are Brewmaster and Vengeance. Then there is a slightly different situation when it comes to healers, because by the end of season one, many players started to notice the power of Resto Shaman. Resto Shaman had gotten buffed multiple times over the course of season one, more and more and more, especially in damage, which is very important in Mythic Plus, for example, to the point where it started growing a lot. Now, perhaps because the buffs were late into the season, Shaman didn't have time to show how much more popular and strong it would have been in season two. So it stopped more or less at the level of Evoker, at the level of the second best, second most popular of the specs in Mythic Plus, for example. But now with the full reset of season two, we can see clearly how Restoration Shaman is the most popular of the healers overall. What is funny, however, if you know a, a basic of maths, is that the actual percentage is not really changing. Master Shaman is going from 25-ish percent to 25-ish percent. It's slightly higher now, but more or less is the same. What has changed is the other healers. Resto Druid goes from 31 to 20, Evoker goes from 28 to 15. So that has been the main change. The nerfs given to Resto Druid and the nerfs given to Preservation Evoker, combined with the buffs to Resto Shaman, have somewhat rebalanced all of the other healers as a result. As you can see now, specs like Holy Paladin are way more popular, specs like both Holy and Discipline Priest now are also way more popular, which as a result drags down the average of Resto Druid and Evoker, except for Shaman, which stays the most popular one, and I guess Mistweaver Monk. Yes, if you want to be precise, Mistweaver Monk is almost doubling 
in player base, true, but you are still going from 2% to 4% of all of the healers, which is still kind of depressing. Meanwhile, the situation in the raid also has changed quite a bit compared to before, because Restoration Druid was the number one pick in the raid by the end of Season 1, now it's the fourth pick at the start of Season 2. You still have Holy Priest being very popular, you still have Resto Shaman being very popular, and Preservation Evoker is still fourth. What has also changed, together with Restoration Druid dropping, is Holy Paladin growing. Holy Paladin was fifth before. It was only ahead of Mistweaver and Discipline, now it's second, with quite a big gap from Resto Shaman and also trying to reach Holy Priest to the top. So actually changes across the board for healers, both in raiding, where Holy Paladin grew a lot and Resto Druid lost a bit, as well as Mythic Plus, where both Druid and Preservation Evoker lost and pretty much all of the other healers, except for Monk, more or less, have gained a lot. Then you have the actual damage part of the changes with the melee DPS. So, similar to what happened with Resto Shaman, there was the notion that Retribution Paladin after the buffs was very popular. However, the buffs came somewhat late into the season. So, specs like Subtlety Rogue and specs like Havoc Demon Hunter were still far too popular for Red to overtake those specs. However, now, with the reset of Season 2, we can clearly see Red Paladin as the number one of the most popular melee DPS specs, and these are pretty high keys, they are keys in the 20 plus level range, and you can see Red Paladin being the number one. Yes, yes, Subtlety Rogue and Havoc are still the second and third, but they have been now overtaken by Red Paladin. For the other specs though, there is a significant growth, a significant more power has now been put into Fury Warrior, which has now doubled its popularity in Mythic Plus compared to the end of Season 1, as well as, as well as a much bigger increase for Unholy Death Knight, which also has doubled its representation compared to Season 1. These have been the changes that Blizzard managed to bring in Season 2. Not that many, actually, if you think about it, at the end of the day, we stopped Season 1 with Red, Subtlety and Havoc as the most popular, and we start Season 2 with Red, Subtlety and Havoc as the most popular, so if you think about it, not much has changed. But in terms of the minor changes here and there, we have gotten some in Mythic Plus. Then, in the raid, is where the situation is more even, so to speak. We still see Red Paladin being very popular, similar to last season. We still see Havoc Demon Hunter being very popular. We still see Subtlety Rogue for the melee DPS being very popular. And also many of the similar specs at the bottom being the same. Survival, Feral, Assassination, Outlaw Rogue, Arms Warrior are still towards the bottom. What has grown a little bit more compared to last season perhaps is Fury, of course. Fury now being preferred over Arms and overall being more popular. But if we have to take stock of the changes, we have seen probably more changes overall in Mythic Plus compared to the changes we are seeing here in the raid, for at the very least for melee DPS. Then you have the range DPS, which was somewhat more as, a, as an even, as an average type of choice, because you had, you had, you know, a multitude. You had Beast Mastery Hunter growing a lot at the end of Season 1, you still had Shadow Priest, you still had Mages with Frost at the end of the season, you had both Destruction and Demo also being popular at the end of the season, same goes for Balanced Druid, so it was the more open, the more volatile, the more fragile to changes, so there was a rework for Shadow Priest, there was a mini smaller rework for Balanced Druid before the launch of Season 2, so what actually changed so far for the range DPS? Well, change number one is that Marksmanship is now much more popular than Beast Mastery, that's the first change that we can see, and that Destruction is also even more popular than before, given all of the changes at the start of Season 2. Not much is changing for Mages, where Frost is still the preferred pick, and as you can see, also Balanced Druid is more or less just as popular as before, as well as the other of the bigger slash biggest of the changes being the growth of Devastation Evoker, which is now way more played, also given perhaps by its popularity in the raid, now that they're getting their hands on their powerful two-piece and four-piece set bonus for season two, and if anything, Elemental Shaman has actually lost 
even more compared to the end of season one. And if you consider that in season one, they weren't exactly a strong spec, that's pretty depressing. Could there be, could there be any more different changes when it comes to the raid? Well, change number one is that Warlocks at the moment seem more leaning towards destruction. There was a lot of hype for Demo for their big burst combo with Felgard and Tyrant with their tier and power infusion. Looks like, for the most part, now it's just destruction being chosen, way more than Demonology. A couple more of the very popular specs still remain there. Balanced Druid and Shadow Priest, as well as Devastation Evoker, are still very popular picks. Frost Mage. Frost Mage being the number one pick for mages in Mythic Plus is actually overtaken and overdone by Arcane in the raid. Arcane at the moment is looking quite good as far as, you know, damage simply goes compared to the other two mage specs. Which is quite good because by the end of last season Arcane was literally the least represented of all of the ranged DPS specs in the raid. No hope, unfortunately, for a few of the other specs which already were some of the least played specs in season 1 like Affliction and like Elemental which remain at the very bottom. Of course, as we mentioned, the growth in Mythic Plus of Marksmanship same goes for the raid, because Beast Mastery goes from being the number one pick by the end of season one to being in the bottom eight or bottom nine of the choices in the raid now, and now Marksmanship is the second most popular pick in the raid. So basically just a complete switch, like it very often happens when it comes to Hunters, the two range specs and Hunters just playing whichever is stronger, you would always see these type of very big swings in player base, depending on who is doing better. So overall for the range DPS in the raid, the positive changes so far at the start of this season have been the growth of marksmanship, the growth of arcane and the growth of destruction compared to how they were doing in season one. So we now have three specs doing quite better and you know differently than season one for the ranged. For the melee DPS, we do have the continuation of certain specs doing well last season, like Ret at the end of season one, Subtlety and Havoc, but now we also have the growth of Fury Warrior as well as Unholy Death Knight. For the healers in Mythic Plus, it's just a swap. It's now Resto Shaman taking the place of Preservation Evoker in Mythic Plus, and in the raid, there is a significant growth for Holy Paladin and a loss of Restoration Druid. And lastly, for the tank, Prot Paladin remains the dominant pick with a big loss of Protection Warrior in favor of the growth of DK, Brewmaster, and Vengeance. So, so far, these have been the changes we have been able to see in these first almost couple of weeks of the season. Now, definitely still worth pointing out that we are likely still missing, many players are still missing their four-piece set bonus. Maybe we have some more balance tuning, some more hotfixes. Blizzard is pushing out based on the results they have been able to see in these first couple of weeks. So things are still bound to possibly change in the next few resets. But for now, this has been the situation in both the Raid and Mythic Plus at the beginning of Season 2. So we will store we will store this data for future weeks just to see how things have been changing later on compared to the first to, to the beginning of the season. With this, I am going to leave you to the rest of the start of your weekend. To those who still believe the weekend begins on Friday. We are starting, of course, the goodbyes by thanking all of the Patreon supporters for the contribution and the help. You can help, though, still in free ways, like liking and commenting down below, as well as subscribing to the channel itself. You can also support by following me over on my Twitter, as well as following me over on my stream on Twitch. So with these useless things out of the way, Thank you guys again for watching, see you guys soon, and in the meantime, something needs to be done about these worm crests only obtainable in Mythic 11 through 15 keys. I don't wanna go back every week doing six of these keys, man, please.